Hello, everyone. This is Jeremy Fry. I am a senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Friday, March 18th, 2022. We are in the season of Lent, which is the 40 days before Easter, when we reconnect to God and join Jesus on his journey to the cross and ultimately the empty tomb that we celebrate on Easter morning. Today is also a special day in our family's lives. It's my daughter's 19th birthday, so I wish Bailey a happy birthday. And all those who have birthdays out there, I hope you're having a great day and will have a wonderful weekend. But for our daily devotion, we are looking at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a prophet text from the Old Testament in the Christian Bible or the Hebrew Bible. And a prophet is God's spokesperson. Basically, uh, God would tell the prophet what to tell the Israelites, and they would do that. Uh, and and uh, Isaiah is known as one of the major prophets. The book of Isaiah spans a, a long time of the Israelites' uh, history uh, from when they... Um, were were conquered by Babylonia and and brought into Babylonia for exile and then brought back. So it, it's, uh, it, it's lots and lots of uh, time and things going on in the Israelites' life. And we are to Isaiah 40, Isaiah 48. And this is what... This is what... Um, And sorry, Isaiah 48, this is, and this is what it says. This is the New International Version of the Bible. It says, The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Um, how can we feel whole when change is always disrupting the things that we love, right? Change is so hard for us human beings. For most of us human beings, don't like to be in constant change. Uh, I'd say especially these last two years, two and a half years, it's been change after change after change. And it's just been completely difficult, at least uh, in my family and my work and everything that's been around us. Uh, I think this is the most change we've ever had. Um, on the surface, nothing seems constant in the face of destructive flames of time. And we try to control the flame. You know, we want to control what we want to control. Uh, and we try. I think that's one of the biggest sins we have as human beings is we try to be God, try to control, want to be in charge, want to call the shots. Uh, and then we end up burning both candles at both ends, attempting to maintain power over our limited time. Uh, but... Uh, no matter our efforts that we take, time continues to go on and we continue to be changed. Uh, you know, like today, our kids get older uh, as we celebrate my daughter's 19th birthday when I just remember when she was just a baby. Uh, yeah, it, we can't get away from that time. And when we do try to uh, control everything, I think we're left with nothing but empty fingers trying to grasp at the, you know, at uh, the time that has gone by. If we're so worried about time and focused on time and forget to enjoy the moment and just live in the moment and appreciate the moment and just worry about all that change, uh, that we don't have the enjoyable life that God wants us to have. But there's absolutely one thing that, that the endless progression of time cannot destroy and change cannot destroy. And that one thing is, is that never changes is God. God never changes. God's word always is there. God's love is always there. God is always there for us. And God's love uh, and, and grace and mercy through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is always there. Um, We'll change, times change, uh, we try to grasp and, and control, but ultimately we need to uh, remember that God never changes. And when we have God and Christ at the center of our lives and listen to God's teachings and do the things God commands us to do, uh, 
those that's what makes a life uh, worth living to give God glory and to do what God wants us to do. And we remember that God's word never ends and never fades. So let's pray. God, you are ever present in our changing lives. Help us to remember that even though our lives are constantly changing, you and your word stands eternal. We pray this in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue our journey on Lent. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Stay safe. God bless.